What's up plant family, Devin is here and today we're going to be talking about using black plastic tarps in our gardens in order to suppress weeds or even to start new beds. Now this is a method that's called occultation and it is a tried and true method that has been used by organic farmers for decades. Organic farmers don't use herbicides of course, so how do they actually prepare their fields and their crop areas in the springtime prior to planting out those crops? Now, many farmers have used tilling, but over time, farmers have recognized the benefit of using these black tarps is much superior to tilling because it's much more cost effective and time effective, and it also doesn't compact the soil like tilling does. Essentially what they do is they lay these tarps over their fields for three to six weeks at the beginning of springtime. Any weeds that may be starting or trying to germinate get suppressed by those black tarps because there's no light that allows them to actually grow. Now we can use this same idea and method in our landscape and in our gardens to suppress weeds in areas where the weeds are starting to take over. Now for me here you can see I'm laying these tarps along the front of my driveway just by the road. This area is really difficult to, to weed because there's lots of stones, there's lots of stilt grass all over the place and it just keeps going and coming and coming back. So my plan is to use this tarp for about four to six weeks and then after that period I'll take the tarp off. The land will be devoid of weeds so then I can then go forth and plant in some ground covers that can quickly establish themselves without having to compete for root space with those other pre-existing weeds. Now this method is also a great no-dig method to prepare new beds in our garden. If you have areas of your lawn that you want to turn into beds, you can simply mow those lawns as low as possible, lay these tarps for a period of six, three to six weeks, and then after that period, your grass will be totally dead. You can then go forth and lay on some compost on top, probably about four inches of compost, and then you can go directly plant in there, and then your plants won't have any difficulty establishing themselves competing against the grass. So what do these tarps actually do? Of course they suppress the weeds, because as those weeds try to germinate and grow upwards, they have no light. And because they have no light, they have no energy. And because they have no energy, they're unable to grow, and therefore, they die. The black tarps will also slightly raise the temperature of the soil, and this is going to actually propel those weeds to try to grow with that increased temperature. But of course, since they don't have light, they will die. Now the tarps are also gonna conserve water in the soil. Because the tarps are on top, nice and flat, no water is entering from above. Of course, there may be water coming in from the sides, but it's not gonna be nearly the same as if they were completely open air, allowing rainfall to hit. And because it conserves water, it's not going to negatively affect the microbiota in the soil. So it does not harm your soil in any way, shape, or form. Now all of this is going to lead to an improved productivity of the plants that you then go forth and plant in because they no longer have competition from weeds while they are getting established, which is hugely important for any baby plant that's trying to get growing. Now essentially you can do this tarping at any time of the year. I like to do it in the winter time for a period of up to three months, you know, basically let's say the beginning of winter all the way a few weeks into spring, allowing these tarps over that long period of time. I do this in areas of the garden that have perennial weeds such as honeysuckle, and then by the end of that time, when I remove the tarp, it does help to kill those perennial weeds. However, the most traditional time of year to do this is at the beginning of springtime, just when the soil is starting to warm up. And as spring starts to progress, the tarp stops those weeds in their tracks and kills them. Now, if you're wondering how does this compare to landscape fabrics, we're absolutely going to remove these black tarps after that three to six week time period. Unlike landscape fabrics that are a, a semi-permanent fixture in your garden, landscape fabrics will also allow for water and airflow to transmit into the soil, which is also going, which is essentially going to slow down the suppression of weeds. So the black tarp is actually much quicker, and we all know that weeds can also still root in landscape fabric. So what kinds of tarps exactly do we want to use? If you have any just old tarp at home that fits the area that you want to kill the weeds from, use that. But if you have a larger tract of ground that you're trying to kill the weeds, I like to use these black plastic farm sheets. They're movable plastic sheets that you can reuse. They're a little thinner than a traditional tarp, but they're a little thicker than a black plastic bag. They're somewhere in between. You can check the description for a link below to the one that I use. And 
They typically come 100 feet long by 10 feet wide, and the one that I purchased cost me 75 bucks, which I think is a pretty great deal. All in all, I think this is a great method that requires no digging, no tilling, no herbicides, no weed pulling. It's quite fast. Uh, three to six weeks is not that much time. It just requires a little bit of planning, and you may need someone to help you cut and lay your tarps down and then put some rocks on top to keep it in place. But overall, it's a great method. All right, so now we're ready for the big reveal. It's been a month since I laid the tarps. Let's remove them and see how the weeds have died. Once you get them off, use a little rake and just clean up the area to reveal the empty canvas. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, there are still a few weeds here and there, but after one month, I think it did a pretty good job. I could have left it for a few more weeks and probably would have killed uh, a little bit more, but that's okay. And as a reminder, this is how it looked one month ago, so I think the difference is pretty good. And now that my area is weed-free, I can easily go in and plant, and I don't have to worry about the weeds competing with this Hypericum brigadoon that I just got planted. This is gonna look so much better. I will be making another no-dig method for starting new beds shortly, so make sure you subscribe to this video so you can be in the know for the latest video updates that we're bringing every single week. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. I'll catch you soon. Ciao.